Hi. In this video, we're going to show you how to perform simple rotations using the Mecha C2 controller. Power on Mecha C2 by pressing the power button for 3 to 5 seconds, and wait until it reaches idle status. If your Mecha is set to work in simple mode, the preset menu is already shown on the display. First, let's check what intervals, and rotational speeds, are set for simple rotations. Press the menu button to switch to the config menu, and navigate to the interval 1 option on page 3. Notice the minus sign and the 45 degree value. This means that we can perform 45 degree rotations by pressing any arrow button and the minus button. If you want to edit the value of this angle, press the center button. Then use the plus or minus button to increase or decrease the value. and confirm with the center button. The display now is showing, set position, to allow you to easily check if your setting is correct. So you can perform a rotation of 45 degrees, by pressing any arrow button, then the minus button, to check. Or you can press the center button, and skip this step. Interval 1 speed, is the rotational speed corresponding to interval 1. 3.5 RPM, revolutions per minute, in our case. You can adjust it according to your needs. Enter edit mode by pressing the center button, and increase, or decrease its value with the plus or minus button. Then confirm with the center button. You can check the set speed by performing a simple rotation, where you can press the center button, and skip this step. Interval 2 is similar to interval 1. It is 90 degrees, in our case. So we can perform 90 degree rotations, by pressing any arrow button, and the plus button. Interval 2 speed is the rotational speed corresponding to interval 2. 3.5 RPM. There is also an interval 3, similar to 1 or 2, but here you have to use the menu button, instead of minus or plus. 180 degrees, in our case. Interval 3 speed is the rotational speed corresponding to interval 3. 3.5 RPM. Let's go back to the arrow speed option. This is the rotational speed when a button is held down. So set a lower value to easily perform this type of rotation. To perform simple rotations, switch to the preset menu. Navigate to the simple rotations option. And press the center button to confirm. Notice how the display shows set position, each time simple rotations can be performed. Let's begin with the lower rotator, and perform rotations of 45 degrees. Press the left arrow button. Then, quickly, press the minus button. Press the right arrow button. Then, quickly, press the minus button, for the opposite direction. For 90 degree rotations, 
press the left arrow button. Then, quickly, press the plus button. Press the right arrow button. Then, quickly, press the plus button. For the opposite direction. Similarly for 180 degree rotations, use the left arrow button, and menu button. And for the opposite direction, use the right arrow button, and menu button. Another 180 degree rotation in the opposite direction. And another 180 degree rotation, to bring the controller to the starting position. For the upper rotator, do the same, but use the up and down arrow buttons. Perform rotations of 45 degrees, by pressing the up arrow, then minus button. For the opposite direction, press the down arrow, then minus button. The upper rail is now in the level position. For 90 degree rotations, press the up arrow, then plus button. Use this to go from level to rised position. And for the opposite direction, press the down arrow, then plus button, and go back to level position. Similarly for 180 degree rotations, use the up arrow button, and menu button. And for the opposite direction, use the down arrow button, and menu button. Another type of simple rotation, is a continuous rotation by holding down an arrow button. Up. Down. Up. Left. Right. Left. Press the power button to exit the simple rotations. The power button can also be used to check the battery level. When the battery percentage is shown on the display, you can also perform simple rotations. And, in advanced mode, you can perform simple rotations whenever Mecha is idle. Thank you for watching.